Hi friends, and we are going to be talking about does Rick want a new car? <laughs> That's my topic today. It's an interesting topic, isn't it? I mean, you know, I want you to help me here and I want to go through this. But right now, the first thing as I always say to you is please tell your friends to watch my channel, my YouTube channel, Rick Sykes 305. Um, we're getting a lot of people actually, a lot more than I expected. But I really need a lot more because remember, as I told you, and I tell you all the time, I'm 10 years behind on this. So everybody else who started 10 years ago has thousands and thousands of followers. I have like very few. But we are starting to build a little more. So please tell your friends to watch. Uh, and by the way, where you are right now, or where I am right now, what you're looking at, this is the pilot house on my yacht. So this is actually in rough weather. This is where you steer the boat. Um, hopefully you don't have rough weather so you don't have to worry about down there otherwise you go upstairs and it's more fun upstairs anyway uh, this is the pilot house and I'm just talking to you from the pilot house today because I never did this before on the pilot house uh, and you know another thing I have to tell you and just before we get into this topic today is this uh, people have been saying to me um, are you ever going to move off the yacht and my answer to you is Yes, yes, if I find the right reason, which I did and I blew that one, I totally blew that. But now if I find the right reason again, yes, I will definitely move off the yacht, okay? No question about it. So just so you know, let it be out there that if, I, if, if I'm asked to move off the yacht for a good reason, and I think the people who know me, you know the reason. I'm not even gonna go into that. But, uh, yes, I would definitely move off the yacht. Okay? Goes out saying. But let's get back to the topic on hand. Do I want a new car? Let's talk about this for a, a situation here, the situation that I'm in. I collect automobiles. I collect Porsches. I have antique Porsches, and I love them. Why? Because they're different. They're not normally in the, the realm of things. They're different. And I'm going to tell you a funny story. Probably about, oh, maybe about seven, eight years ago, I'm driving in Palm Beach with my red 356 Porsche Cabriolet, which is a 1964 old Porsche convertible in great shape. And I'm driving on the expressway. And as I'm driving, somebody has their video and they're videotaping as I'm driving and somebody else beeps the horn, waving and stuff like that, and, and taking pictures. And I was with a very, very beautiful girl. And the girl kept looking and smiling and stuff. And I looked at her and I said, I said, and I was so frank, brutally frank. I said, can I just be honest with you for a minute? She goes, sure, what? I said, they're not taking pictures of you. And she looked at me, she like, you know, what do you mean? I said, I promise you, they're not taking pictures of you. They're not taking pictures of me either. They're taking pictures of the car. <laughs> this girl got furious. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I mean, I just burst her bubble like there was no tomorrow. <laughs> I still laugh about it. And that was a long, long time ago. I haven't driven that car in a long time. It's actually sitting in a friend of mine's showroom up in uh, Del Rey. Uh, why I just don't have the time for it um, and so people say well why do you collect these cars <sighs> I don't know it's just a habit and do I love these cars oh of course I do would I want to get rid of them no would I get rid of them yeah I mean if, if if there was a reason that I had to get rid of them for some crazy reason yes I mean if all of a sudden uh, there was some something somebody in my life and said you know what you've got all these things be practical for a change. Grow up. Am I getting to that point now? Yes, I am. I'm telling you right now, I may be I may be growing up. Right before your very eyes. <laughs> it, and it, it's very true. It's very true. Listen, this is the way it is. This is the way my life is. My life is a little bit nutty. Always has been. Um, which is good. You know, but not too nutty. I mean, you know, I know people are just totally crazy, but no, no, I'm just, just fun. I'm just having a good time, and I want my partner to have a great time, too, and uh, 
I'm starting to realize that I have to put my partner before me, you know, so let, let her have a good time more than, more than me. And that makes more sense. So I guess maybe I'm maturing. I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, it's happening. And um, I see it, and I think you all see it too. But getting back to the new car, which I keep getting off this topic. Do I want a new car? I don't know. I mean, you know something? I drive a 1987 Porsche, a convertible, in fabulous shape. I mean, it looks brand new, although it's an antique. And I drive that all over the place. I love that car. And it's fast enough. I'm not trying to, you know, race anybody. And it's, as I say, the interior is brand new. The top is brand new. It goes fast. So why do I need a new car? My other go-to car is a V12 Mercedes, uh, the little two-seater. It's a 1997. The reason um, I bought it was just because I love the style of it. And the car itself was $144,000, was brand new in 1997. That's a lot of money in those days. Today, that's a quarter of a million dollars easily. What are they worth today? Next to nothing. Why? Because nobody can afford to fix them. I can, but uh, most people cannot afford to fix the V12 Mercedes. That's why when you see them, they're so cheap. And when you say to a mechanic, I'm buying a V12 600 SL, the mechanic will say, great, buy it. And as soon as you need any work to it, throw it away because nobody can afford to fix that car. <laughs> I mean, that's reality, folks. It really is. That is reality. I drive it. You know, every time I have a problem with it, I bring it to my friend Joe, the mechanic up in Del Rey, which is that German auto. He shakes his head and says, Rick, only because I love you will I fix this car for you. <laughs> at least I know somebody loves me, right? That's a good way of looking at it. Anyway, listen, please, please subscribe to my channel. Rick Sykes 305, or I know you have, but have your friends do it. Would you please? And have a glorious day. It's great talking to you. You know, I'm finding out that as I talk to you, more people keep uh, sending me little messages and stuff. And this is nice. It really is. I'm starting to feel like uh, a very heartwarming feeling. Okay, thanks. Great talking to you. I'll talk to you real soon.